it's a little cheesier, a little, I don't know how to say it, a little, uh, Hey everybody, it's Brad. I'm here with a brand new kind of interview slash mini review for the third Saturday in October and the third Saturday in October part five. I had the chance to talk to the writer director, Jay Burleson and the actress of part one, Allison Shrum, an actor in part one and a small little piece in part five, Darius Willis. I'm going to jump into that real soon, but before I do, just make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these videos or anything we post over here on YouTube. All right, are you ready? Let's start with my interview with Jay Burleson, Allison Shrum, and Darius Willis. Let's dig into it. Hey, everybody. I am here with writer-director Jay Burleson and actress Allison Shrum from the third Saturday in October. How are you both doing today? I'm good. I'm doing We're good. good. Glad to be I, here. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me. I know I saw this movie almost a year ago and I've been waiting. You know, I wanted to try to talk to you then, but now it's finally out in the world. Both movies, the third Saturday in October and the third Saturday in October part five. And I'm sure this is the number one question people always ask you, Jay. Why two movies and why a part one and a part five? So the backstory is pretty simple. In 2019, we were trying to get a much bigger project off the ground. And we've been working on that for about two years. So we've built a team that includes our producers on both their Saturday films, Frank Crafts and Ian Cunningham and our cinematographer, Chris Hillicky. And um, we kind of circled fall 2019 as we're making a movie during this period of time, no matter what. And we had this other film in mind that was a slasher movie, but was much more of a dramatic art house slasher film. And it required a much bigger budget. So while we gained a lot of momentum, we ultimately realized we weren't going to be able to make that movie. But since we had, you know, the momentum and a team in place, we decided we're going to stick to our goal and make a movie fall 2019, no matter what. And we pivoted to the third Saturday in October. I had um, for almost a decade wanted to make a retro slasher series to kind of mm -hmm. uh, make period piece horror films that could jump around through the 70s, 80s or 90s and kind of recreate that experience for a modern audience while putting my own sensibilities into it. And at the time we made part five, it just made sense to start with part five. Uh, I'm a big fan of Halloween four and five and some of those later slasher sequels. And I felt like under the circumstances, that was the most logical thing that we could do and also have fun. And knowing that we were moving really quickly when we pivoted. So I wanted something that I felt like I understood 100%. And they're kind of like second nature to me. So we just jumped into part five. And then when we had it in post almost exactly a year later, we had the opportunity to make something else and decided to just double down and go back and make part one. So the double feature uh, aspect of it kind of developed over that year period of time where we had part five and then the opportunity to make something else. Now, have you, have you gotten the question of you know, where's two, three, and four, like people kind of confused when they watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's part of like, uh, part of the whole thing. You know, there are a lot of people that ask about where two, three, and four, um, and that's just part of the charm of the experience. And we've tried to do a good job of, you know, getting the word out to start with part five and then watch part one to kind of recreate that experience of, the 90s video store scene or even you know like watching something on, on cable tv where you might end up watching um a sequel to halloween before you see the original um and you know we have ideas of what those those movies would look like if we were fortunate enough to be able to go back and, and make more of them 
<laughs> and, and Allison, you got to to star in part one. You were the final girl in part one. Now, yeah. are you hoping that Jay kind of, you know, you get to continue on? Hopefully, you know, we get a part two, part three, and you get to come back. I would, I would love to bring back Heather. Um, I think we were sitting in the Bronco Burger at, at the final day of filming, and we were like, we're gonna have a wrap, at, like in the Bronco Burger after filming, and it's like. 1 a.m. and Jay and I are sitting like at the the counter there and we're talking and I, I don't know which one of us brought it up but we ended up talking about like Heather Heather's alive and are you gonna make part two next are you gonna make part six next I would I wouldn't mind coming back <laughs> yeah I remember that I remember that rap party very well <laughs> So will I mean hopefully I mean will we get more of of the third Saturday in October eventually? Yeah, I think at this point since we we made two of them, uh, at this point it really depends on what the the reaction ends up being, whether there's a man to to make more of them. But I definitely have plans, and I I'm happy to talk about what some of that might look like if you want to. Because um, it's all hypothetical, it may never happen. But uh, okay. there's definitely there's definitely a world in which uh, Heather Hill would return. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like when you say you kind of have ideas, like how many do you have an idea for? I mean, obviously to fill two, three, four, so we got that gap. But are there more after that or prequels of? you know, Harding's original killings kind of thing. Yeah. So the roadmap we have for it right now includes two, three, and four. And then there would be a spinoff after four. That's kind of the season of the witch of the franchise that would uh, take place in 1990. And then there would be part six, which would be the final chapter to the, to the whole thing. Okay. Now, with with all this, you know, this has kind of been playing festivals and all that the past year or so. Like like we talked before, I, I watched it as part of Popcorn Frights last year. And what has that journey kind of been like for you? You know, screening these two movies, doing double features and in the and everything leading up to a final release, finally. Yeah. So we premiered at Chattanooga last June. And it was completely virtual. The entire uh, festival was virtual last year. And it's the first time I've been a part of a virtual fest. But it ended up being really a very rewarding experience premiering at Chattanooga. We got a lot of uh, instant feedback on Letterbox the weekend of the premiere. And then, like you said, Popcorn Fries, that was virtual as well. So we found a, a really good home with a handful of virtual fests. And I think that also made it easier for them to program us because we are two movies. And it's, you know, in my experience, hard enough to get one feature into a festival, um, much less two. But it's been really great. Um, I've been very thrilled with the response. And we have played some in-person fest as well. We just did Panic Fest, and and that was a lot of fun. So I've had um, a great experience through the festival circuit, and it's definitely changed the way I look at virtual festivals and um you know what what the future of film festivals might look like as those continue to grow okay and allison for you how's your experience kind of like i'm part of this this movie and you know it, it, it it's ride to finally get here yeah um i i've made it to the festivals in person that i that i could have made it to i was at the uh, Chattanooga was virtual, but we had like a theater theatrical screening during that okay. time. Um, I got to make it to that one, which was my first time seeing it, um, seeing both of them, which was a ride. Um, all of the cast like sat in the theater together in like those first two rows. And I just remember like all of us grabbing each other's legs um, throughout it because we <laughs> knew what was going to come, but still just seeing it, you're like, ah. um just how how great that whole vision came together but um it's been really exciting i've uh obviously been keeping up with it on social media and i'm just really mm -hmm. excited that it's now out and that um something that i got to be a part of uh that's very special to me nice. that we shot 
two years ago um, is now available for other people to watch and enjoy. Well, here really quick, we have we have an addition to pop in. I have I have Darius or Ricky Dean Logan from the third Saturday in October. We've got to, a chance to, to jump in with us. How are you doing today, Darius? Hey, I'm I'm good, man. How are you? I, I'm good. I'm good. So we, we were just talking a little bit about the, the festival runs and everything with this movie. Now for right. you. How how has been being a part of this, you know, two parts right now movie kind of been for you? <laughs> uh, it's been good. What's up, Allison? I just want to scream, Ricky Dean! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what's going on, Jay? Hey, hey, man. Yeah. Hey, man, look, I am... Um, let me say in words, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, I really, um, I, I, I don't know all that y'all entail, but, you know, seeing both of the films and it's pretty funny because they're on two different end of the spectrums. Uh, but I, I thought after reading the script and then watching them, I, I, I thought Jay nailed it. Uh, man, I'm telling you, seeing that movie on the big screen and seeing how, uh, we went from uh, Halloween, which was back, what, 78, something like that, 79, 77. And now we're in 2023, and Jay was able to bring that VCR, VHS to 2023 so uh, the younger generation can actually see what, we, uh, what we've done with horror films. And it's like a, uh, to me, it's like honoring what we came up with um, in the 70s and in the 80s. And man, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, it's great. It's awesome. Now, I, I asked Allison about her character, but your character, Ricky Dean Logan, is very much similar to, say, you know, a Dr. Loomis. You know, he's after the evil. He's got to get him. Do you hope, you know, I asked Allison about, about sequels, do you hope more sequels and we get to see more Ricky Dean Morgan, uh, Ricky Dean Logan, I'm sorry, uh, you know, chasing after Harding to yeah. stop him? You know, uh, I, I heard that that might be something in the works. I, I don't know. But, you know, uh, Ricky Dean Logan is a, a he, he's something else, man. Uh, I really like the way um, Jay wrote the character. And I just tried my best to add something to that character and make it make it work. And uh, and I hope the people love the film. I, I thought Allison was awesome, man. Um, I, I think everyone that has anything to do with the film put in great work. KJ Baker, hey man, she was a great co-star, and uh, hey, I think just the cast is uh, really worked it. I uh, y'all know that they're calling me to the set right now. Uh, I am on set okay. at this point. They they like Darius, but I'm, I'm gonna step out in the sunshine. I'm gonna talk to you guys while I'm going out to the set. Uh, <laughs> nice, I love I, it. I, I, I give y'all a I give y'all a view. You see what's going on? All these people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh so, wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, man. But uh, I. I am loving it, man. Uh, hey, I, I can say nobody else in interviews is going to get you know on the set while you're going um, interview. I will say I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, now, now, besides Ricky Dean Logan, you got to be the narrator for part five. Correct? Oh man, yes, yes, I did. It was it was so fun. Um, me and Jay talked, and when Jay first said it, I was like, I'm going to narrate something that I ain't even seen yet. But, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, and in, in, in the field of acting, hey, you, you make it happen, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I had I had a good time doing it. Uh, it was, it was kind of weird, but then once I got comfortable with it, I had fun with it, man. Well, that's Most awesome, definitely. Man. I, I really do like I, I saw it last year part of Popcorn Prides and then I just watched it again recently and I, I really do hope people do go check out third Saturday in October and you know kind of want to wrap up because I don't want to go over for you guys what are some what did like what do you guys have in the works right now that you want to want to have Happy people that. besides Thanks going to see this both these movies. Yeah, Darius, tell us about the project that you're currently shooting. 
Oh, well, right now I'm in the midst of shooting a, um, a union commercial um, uh, for Pfizer. Uh, it's a lot of people. It's supposed to be uh, this big family barbecue going on and we're having a good time, you know. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm uh, I actually, actually, um, sidebar, I'm working on a, um, a, um, a television um, pilot that we finished and we're editing up and getting it together uh, uh, back in Nashville. We're right here in Nashville, rather. Uh, got got some good 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 things going on with it. Uh, okay. and, and hope we got a little interest peaked in it. So I hope it'll be something that will be coming up. Uh, and Allison, she's from Nashville, so she might get to work on it locally. So that'd be Ooh. fun to have. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got in the works right now. Um, and, and and hey, we 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 hope to have another uh, third Saturday in October in the works as well, because Ricky Dean and and, and <laughs> Allison got to get this guy. Because all I see now is Allison screaming. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we want we want more Heather screaming. Yeah, we need that. a little bit more of that. We need yeah. more of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe Allison goes to college or something, and and Ricky Dean has to show up. You never know. <laughs> I mean, Jay, Jay Jay would know, right? That that you, you is would, uh, stories. <laughs> that is one of the concepts that we have for sure. <laughs> now, uh, there is one question I want to ask you, Jay, before we wrap things up. The mask. Where did the idea for for his mask come from? So it's funny how it worked out because when I was thinking of the third Saturday in October franchise series uh, before we actually had the script, I wanted to use the skull mask that we ended up using. But when I actually wrote part five, I went in a different direction and everything was happening very fast. So when we got to set, we were still finishing the mask on day one and we put it on the actor's face. It didn't really fit at all and looked ridiculous. So we just happened to have that skull mask at, um, one of the other sets is part of like a box of props. So it was a very last minute decision that the mask ended up being used in the film, but uh, I'm glad it worked out that way because it was my original plan that I somehow strayed away from. But uh, I guess it was just fate that that mask was gonna be Harding's mask. And uh, I know it's very subtle and I, unless you're really listening, you can't really hear it. Like the giggle that he has underneath with the mask as he's like killing people and stuff. Like I, it just popped up and really noticed it every once in a while. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that little giggle. Cause otherwise there's, there's no noise from, from Harding at all. Right. That was something that um, we didn't use at all when we shot part five. And then when we were shooting part one, it was an idea that came up on set so once I had it for part one at the end of the movie, it made sense to then go back and, and start putting it into part five a little bit more. Okay. Awesome. Well, we're, we're almost out of time. I want to thank all of you for connecting with me. And like I said, before you go, what are some things that, I mean, we heard what Darius has rolling. He's right on set right now, but Allison and Jay, what, what do you guys have in the works? Aside from obviously promoting this, these two movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, quickly, I um, I'm also a writer and director, and I'm currently in production for a short film of my own, filming at the end of this month, and uh, in the midst of just in the thick of writing a script as well, a feature. Um, hopefully, make soon. Um, so, awesome. just. Very busy. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> hey, Jay, yeah. you have anything else in the works right now? Or I got a few things that I'm kind of uh, toying around with, but I, I'm also just kind kind of trying to experience a little bit of downtime to see what I really feel passionate about doing, okay. considering how long we've been working on this. So I'm I'm decompressing a bit. Okay. Well, again, thank you guys so much for for chatting with me. I really, really do appreciate it. And, and good luck with both of these movies. Hey, right. thanks a lot. 
I really enjoyed talking to Allison, Darius, and Jay about the movies. And how fun was that, that Darius just showed up partway through on set. He took the time. I appreciate that, taking time to talk to me even while you're working. I loved it. So let's talk a little bit about the third Saturday in October, part one and part five. Jay says you should watch five before one. And this is because it's kind of like that late night sort of, you know, I grew up with a show called USA's Up All Night. I loved watching it. And you just kind of got whatever movie was playing that night. Sometimes it could be a sequel. Sometimes it could be, you know, something new. You just don't know. And this kind of plays off of not only that, but like the video store where you would go rent and all the originals are out, so you just kind of you pick one. You pick one of the sequels. You're like, I want to see a Michael Myers movie, but all they have in is four or five or whatever. So that's kind of where this is played off of, and it's really fun to watch because part five is kind of cheesier, and it's not as... He did a very good job of playing it of like... This is the sequel that was made in like the early 90s compared to part one, which takes place. I believe it was supposed to come out in the 70s. So right after the big craze of Halloween and Michael Myers, here comes Jackariah Harding and this killer, this new killer kind of slasher film kind of playing off of that whole thing. So I really enjoyed the style of these films. and. Jay did a very good job of setting up the look and the feel and everything of a 70s, 80s, early 90s slasher movie. And I'm not going to give any spoilers for anything away. I'm just going to say go check out these movies with part one, Darius Willis and Allison Shrum, who I just talked to, are in parts one. Darius does a voiceover in part five, which also stars Kansas Bowling and Poppy Cunningham. I really do hope that we get more of these to kind of bring a couple of some of these characters from five and one kind of together and just have a blast. I did very much enjoy these throwback horror films. And I think anybody who is into this kind of genre will appreciate them. They're cheesy. They have some humor. They're serious. They're fun. And a lot of it you'll pick up going, oh, that's kind of like this. It's similar to this. I know what that is. So go check out the third Saturday in October and the third Saturday in October part five. All right, before I go, we have one promo we're running. Just watch our social media at the Cinema Guys for Blu-rays for Season 5 of Yellowstone we're going to have to give away. Head back to the ranch and dive into the first eight episodes of Yellowstone Season 5, along with never-before-seen content that includes interviews with cast and crew. In these featurettes, we explore the fan-favorite relationships of Rip and Beth and Case and Monica, an in-depth look at the iconic music of Yellowstone, the process of bringing the Yellowstone world to life and more own it now on Blu-ray. So like I said, make sure you watch our social media. We're going to have a few copies of the Blu-ray to give away. So don't want to miss that. Well, that will do it for this video. Again, thanks to Jay Allison and Darius. Go check out the third Saturday in October films. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. So you never miss any of the videos that we post and follow along to the podcast with myself, Justin and the cinema maiden. Just go to we are the cinema guys.com or anywhere you get your podcasts. I'll be back soon with a new video until next time. Maybe we'll see you at the movies.